And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War of Rights event. It is Friday. Hope you all had a good week. And we have a Southern Aggression Campaign event. It is a Harper's Graveyard. Uh, current server pop is 262, 127 on the attacking CSA versus 135 on the defending Union. Let's take a look at that Union team. They have the 83rd Pennsylvania wow. under yeah, Tiberius, 123rd right, under you Lieutenant Danson. Some. The 4th West Virginia under Corporal Guy. The MWB under only Willie Stone. Uh, where do we fit in amongst the, the other companies? The EB under Let Red Bull. Red Bull? Red Bull. Red Bull. <laughs> uh, wings and such. Uh, then we got the NYV under Parker. And 9th Corps under Captain Gamer. And is that everybody? I feel like I'm missing people. Looks so like we got some gunners here under EB, and then we've also got oh, Moto Heart under 19th rank, Indiana. Right. Front rank, melee back. mode. Let's see here. Then for the U CSA team, we've got Kilroy and Hood leading the 42nd. We've got 10th Tennessee oh, under hey. Colonel Knights, AB under Lord Lieutenant Lord. Mathers, the PB under Texas Legion, oh, the 1st Virginia under Sergeant Johnson. And HL under the mat. And we've also got some Artie over here. We'll see if I can get over there before the action starts. And then swing back over. So we have Lieutenant... we got Sergeant Hankel on the guns along with Lieutenant Mattis. So that will be fun to watch. And we are live now. Live at 43. Can I make it back in time? And the CSA is moving out. It looks like they are concentrating on a push on the Union left side here. That means the first units they'll be running into are the 4th West Virginia over here, uh, along with the 79th uh, NYH. Now, units do change their names quite a bit in this game now. So, for example, the uh, what used to be the 8th Georgia is now the 10th Tennessee here. So, Knight did change their name. And the 79th recently let me know that they also changed their name. Uh, they were the 79th New York Highlanders. Um, now they're apparently the... The new equestrian jabronis or or, or, or brownies or bronies, something like that. People get very strange names. Uh, I'm not a big, you know, I'm not as big a historian guy, but, you know, these guys do do some pretty in-depth research. So I'm sure that the uh, there was some storied unit that had that name at some point. But here we got a full push by the Union heading down and massing up here. They do. They have left one unit on the wall over here. Well, two units. They've got A, B, and P, B on this wall over here. But the rest of the CSA is now massing up here. And they are going to engage the 4th West Virginia and 83rd here. Here comes 10th Tennessee moving up. Straight down to my sight line. Bacon. Oh, God. Yeah, you can't really do that take aim thing. You kind of just have to get up here and shoot, to be honest with you. But so far, the Union is getting pushed off of this position here. You can see there's not much left for the 83rd and what was left. Now you still have the MWB over here along with uh, under Willie Stone, but not really any big movements yet. And the CSA has a pretty good position starting out over here. Tennessee, get up here, boys. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. I'm kind of surprised I haven't already heard the guns from Madison Henkel here hitting that wall. Bottom up, Tim. Bottom up, boys. Bottom up. As you can see, they're now concentrating their fire on MWB. Big mistake not getting that flag up. They might think it's, I mean, it's not as huge a deal um, with where the spawn location is, but I still would keep it up. You can see Willie Stone is now not even really able to uh, maintain much left. Um, I heard an Arnie shot come in, but I didn't see it. Now we do have the NYV. Mr. Parker has maneuvered over, over here. It's a little bit loud on the voice chat. I'm going to move it down just a bit. If it gets too low, let me know, and I will reset it back to where it was. Uh, 
fire. Yeah, Light them up. Well, Matt, try to step here on the fence line with us. We got to keep these numbers stacked up. Officer down. Oh, pick up the flag. Somebody yeah. We had a nice core move up here. Let me check and see what's going on with the arty. I am not. Damn it! Yari, she go. I spoke Pablo Bunchina. Everyone take a knee. They're peeking. They're peeking left. I did not get to see where that arty shot was. Let's get on the other side of this. Very much more down there. 123rd, keep firing with that buck and ball. About even so far on tickets. Again, I would say the CSA really needs to increase that rate of artillery fire here, I think, in order to make this strategy so effective. Right. It is taking them way too long to shoot. You got plenty of ammo with those extra guns, so you should be really letting those rounds loose here. And putting, you know, really reducing this position right here. And in fact, they might have came in because now we see 9th Corps moving back. So maybe I missed the arty shot because I got, uh, I wasn't paying too much, you know, I went to go check on it. You still have the threat of park over here, but frankly, the CSA is not even really worried about that. We're standing up here dying. You got to stay up here on the line with us. Nice shot, you got that white check. Now at this position, to be honest with you, as a CSA, I, I might just move up and cap and try to draw the Union into already range here. Don't crouch, don't crouch. Or just move up and, and try to wipe them. Now the PB and AB is doing a good job of keeping these units here kind of outside the main fight, kind of just wasting time over there. But uh, unless the CSA makes a move here, there we go. That's what I was waiting to see. That's what I was waiting to see. On the fence, on the fence! They're, they're, they're basically all down there. All they're gonna do is sit there and shoot. Don't buy it. Come on, glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm glitched out. Uh, guys, I'm glitched out. On my left. Oh, never mind. Prepare to move. Prepare to move. Keep it up, EB. Keep up that fire. Go, 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 Charging the right side, boys. Fire. They're charging on the right. They're charging on the right? Yes, sir. Alright, get back on that yeah, wall. Sir. Yeah. You got a lot of gunfire going off. Looks like somebody came out to do some uh, volleys over here. Looks like it was 88 in New York. On me, boys. On me. Load in the right. CSA is starting to inch ahead on tickets. So far, the time is not horrible. Um, I would like to pick up the pace if I was them, but it's not a horrible pace. I might consider capping right now, to be honest with you. I think that might be the move. Try to draw them back into already fire. Maybe wait till you get done down to engage, maybe. Ten seconds. And there we go, here's the charge. Brace 
Nikki's great. Keep an eye out to the right. And the CSA has secured that first position. Now they're moving on to the next one here. And wisely being on the inside here, using the wall between them and the enemy. Oh, we do have a charge here. The West Virginia, 4th West Virginia, looks like they went in to try to disrupt the flags here. But uh, they've made a wise decision being on the inside of this wall here. How did you lift her that's what I'm I have no fucking clue. Oh, here comes. Is this another one? Is Parker going to oh, order shit, a charge? That was a fucking friendly. Fip, you hit the one friendly up there? Man, Fip. You a good shot. Pick out that one friendly up there. But now you can see what's happened. How many tickets now? Ah, uh, Man, if they could get them down to engaged here before they cap, it would be great. But I don't know if they're going to quite hit it. Go south. Oh my fucking god, I am so sorry again. If they pushed for, further down, they might have done it, I think, but they didn't quite go far enough down here pushing the attack. And they didn't quite get what they needed, I would say, of getting them down to engage before capping. But now here comes Parker. Uh, and the Union's actually slightly ahead on tickets now. And now they're down to engaged. 19 minutes on the counterattack. We got Motohart down here with the 19th Indiana. Tommy, I already told him. Right face, right face. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here in case that they charge here. And the pit fire, oh, and the pit yeah. fire, boys, cut, cut that grass, cut Come that grass. Some. Single rank, gentlemen, single rank. Oh, nice shot. So, yeah, say, single, 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 get single. Good shooting here by the 19th in the end. But as you can see, the CSA now is entrenched here on this corner. And we'll see if the Union can push him off. Here we got HL moving up a little bit. Garrison, this wall, gentlemen. On the wall. We got 123rd moving up here, along with the EB under Red Bull. Now we do have another unit developing down here. It looks like uh, North West Virginia is still looking for a flank, as is Parker. He's going to try again. Every flag stay with me. Everybody start south. Get that, get to that wall. But the CSA is going to try to charge south and wipe out these units here. I think this is a good idea here. Try to bring the fight to the enemy. As long as those flags stay together here. And the union separated. I think the CSA is going to have. Uh, I'm sorry, the union is going to have trouble. Now the danger with that though is you've opened up this uh, point to be recapped. So that's the danger of that strategy here. And here comes a good charge by Ninth Corps into the rear. And if they can knock out these flags here, the CSA will be in some danger. Yep, they've already let one flag go down. Remember, the key is keep your flags up and knock down the other flags. Another flag down. You've got a number of people running around here and not picking up the flag. All you guys right now, I'm judging all of you for not picking up the flag. That's sitting right there on the ground. Don't you, why'd you jump over, man? I got you now. 
Man, you got multiple flags on the ground for the CSA that people are not picking up. Oh, he did good. DJ did good. Here's one more. Pick it up on your way out. Here comes Knight with a 10 Tennessee. Get that flag. You need that flag with you. Oh, you guys are screwing up. You need your flags, guys. You can't leave them dingle dangling in the dirt like that. You walked past that flag. I saw several guys that went back to that line and did not pick up the flag. That is a critical mistake. Outfitting a graveyard. Now we're at 33. The Union has recap, but as you can see. You know, tickets are still not great for the Union. But, um, again, poor discipline on the CSA maintaining their flags. And that is going to delay their capacity to launch another attack, and that will buy time for the Union, which is what they want. So a good counterattack by the Union. Shoot that flag. Shoot that flag. I'm waiting for my shot. Nice shot. Another flag down. I don't know what you were doing over there. Trying to recover it, but if you guys had recovered it when you had the chance, when there was nobody, you know, around, you were all just kind of wandering about. Tennessee, take aim west. Volt, you're a goddamn hero. Cover the flag, bear. So now the battle is kind of settling back down here. The Union still pretty much in a linear defense. You do have this one flank guard down here with MWB, 4th West Virginia, and a few others. Okay. Put up, gentlemen. They're fluffing up. Again, I, I need to see more arty fire coming in on these kinds of positions here. It is not coming in at the rate of fire I think they need, to be honest with you. It's not just about accuracy, it's about rate of fire as well. Of course, as soon as I leave, I hear an arty shot, so I, you know, maybe they got it. Now, the flag is less important now, I would say, for the, uh, Oh, there was an already shot coming in. Oh, here's another one. Now I'm starting to... Okay, okay. All right, you guys are starting to do it. But keep that up. Keep up those rounds. Now here comes Knight, 10 Tennessee, moving in against the uh, 4th West... Uh, the MWB over here. Good initial charge here. Here's first VA Johnson coming up. Hitting him pretty hard over here. And again, what you want to do is drag the Union into Artie range just like that. If you all remember the uh, lesson number two, this is infantry support to artillery. You want to drag the infantry into a position from which the Yardie can easily kill them. Hey, Jesus Christ, stay down. Stay the fucking down here. Now, I don't know why the flags are wandering up that far. Just stay down here and spawn in. Stay down, Terrell here. Stay down, boys. Stay down. Get down. Everybody stay down. Back in front. Back in front. CSA now had taken losses. Again, I'm going to judge you guys every time I see this flag down for more than five seconds. Hey, the flag's down here. Like pick up the flag here behind us. That officer just gave an order. Nobody's going to pick up that flag? Okay. You're the silly sots. All of you gentlemen up there that didn't pick up the flag, you are silly sots. And that flag is still not up for the Union. Right up, 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 right up,
Back in death lift. Good job, he ran him off. Good job. Ran him off. Good job. To your left, to your left. You did great, you did great, you did great. Now Union is. Sprint. Let's go, boys. Running, running, running. More running. There is not enough running. Jack. No. That game. Tennessee. Tennessee. Jack. 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 Flag down. Why is it down? Pick it up. There you go. Good boy, good man, good man, good man. I haven't really been covering them, but these guys have been doing really good keeping the major union formations outside of the main fight. They're not really causing too many casualties, uh, but they are tying down union elements. And again, this is what you want to do. You want to drag the union into an arty fight, into zones where they can kill them. They're a little bit behind on tickets now. Oh, fire. The CSA, that is. Flag that flag is still down. The pox upon your house. This time, we're gonna put Take aim. some piss in the bullets. Then we can say we pissed on them. Some nerds, that's what we're gonna say to them. Company! Nah, I say we fucking put shit in. Company, quick, 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 quick. Company at the sprint. March! Up and over! March. Over the fence. Company! Prepare to halt! Prepare to Company. halt! Company! Halt! Right face! Oh, Aim! Oh, Prepare! Fire! Right face at the sprint! Right face at the sprint! Right face over the fence! Pull back, 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 now here's what's unfortunate. We have a charge here, but HL is not ready and they're not going in because it was not fully coordinated. I would say they need to break their reloads and get into the charge, get into melee. I'll go up and over on oh, Now they're moving. It was a little oh, oh. bit off. To the corner, to the corner, to the corner. You know, you want to do your little individual actions. It costs you. Here comes a little front, here comes a flank action by Willie Stone and his guys. Dress right. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up. Hey, somebody, somebody look on my right. Somebody look on my right. Keep up the fire, boys. Keep it up, keep it up. I know, they've been pushing hard. Just keep it up, boys. They're getting ready to volley. They're on the right side. Keep them occupied, hey. boys. Red Bull's back. A little bit short on that already shot. That would have been ideal. Okay, I just figured I'd ask. Eddie's right here. Fire, it would have put some pressure on him. So the CSA is going to cap again at taking losses, so that's seven minutes for this union to retake it. Uh, 
the B. About face at the spring march. Red flag. Red flag. Let them go. Stay standing for a second, goddammit. Look west, look west. Somebody fuck her. Deals goddamn right flank. Keep it up, keep it up. Uh, got a wide flanking maneuver here, but who is this? It's like MWB trying to get behind the line. Midwest, look it up here. And here comes the NEB. The new equestrian uh, bronies, I believe is their name. Something like that. Maybe it's jabronis. Again, I'm not... I'll learn all the names eventually. But he's see, let's go. Yeah, they are now going up and over. 123rd, right here on this fence. Here comes 123rd coming up, but you see that NYV took some heavy hits there. Hey, third, cease fire. This is where the Yordi again needs to come in. You need to really, these guys are easy shots. These guys are pretty easy shots as well. You really need to, you know, let it loose here and get some hits in. Five minutes remaining. Union slightly ahead on tickets. Now again, you want to concentrate your fire and knock out one unit at a time. CSA is now at breaking. Good shit. Good shit, boys. Keep it up. Uh, what's going on over here? HL is pulling back. Outside of the fight. That is dangerous. He's going to try to do a maneuver on his own. But I believe he might just get swallowed up over here. We'll see. He's doing an alternate action. But especially since the Union is bringing up more force over here. Here comes Parker moving up as well. And Parker's going to make him pay for this mistake. He's going to charge right into their back. A nice maneuver here by Parker. Now, HL did mostly get back here, so what they wasn't as much as it could have been. But um, it looks like a charge by the 19th Indiana. And now here comes the major charge in as the Union tries to retake it. And now, of course, you know, HL was out of position over there. The CSA is now fighting a little bit under on their manpower. With rainbow, yeah. uh, the flags did not get out. Surrender, you shall be As was the instruction. Looks like one is getting out. That's it. Just the 42nd one. Now the danger is, okay, you know, they did this, but they're not really going to gain too many more tickets back. So again, that little maneuver by HL opened up the door for NYV. You know, they were kind of disorganized, came back without loads. And then when the mass came in, the Union was able to win that mass, and again, the Yardi fire was not enough to break them up either. So I think they they share some of that blame on that. And you still have this element out here, PB and AB, that's harassing over here. No quarter, boys! No quarter! No quarter! No fucking quarter! But frankly, all this is going to do is yeah, you're getting a few decent kills, but you're just going to get a lot of out-of-line kills. You're not taking a position like this. You just swallowed up here, and these are all out of line kills. A poor maneuver by this element over here. That is a good call by Sergeant Savage. Do not go forward. Very good call. Very good call by the AB there. 
Now these guys that are not listening to it, getting off their shots, no good. 10 Tennessee going in. Again, all they're going to do is waste time and tickets right now. I don't know who ordered that charge from the 10th Tennessee, but it was a poor charge, and you see they are going to get wiped out and cost a lot of tickets unnecessarily to their team. So whoever ordered that charge, not a good job. Now this I like. The NEB holding on to the flags, guarding the flags, shooting guys as they come down. Good job by the uh, Questian folks. I guess they like horses? I don't know. Negative. That's the kind of already shot you need. On the fence, we gotta hold the side here. Check, check. To be honest right, right now, I would just, you know, let the Artie pepper him for a bit here and try to keep him engaged with some long distance shooting, get him down to the last stand before you go to final push. Hold fire, load and, hold. and for the Union, I. I mm, You know, I, I, you know, it's a bit of a dilemma because you do want to keep these flags down. Now we got a charge against the rocks here by First VA. He was able to catch MWB. A pretty good charge there. It was a very good charge there, actually. Now, again, the main thing is trying to get those flags back. We're kind of just waiting for it to respawn, too. But now that you've taken it, I wouldn't stay in that position, especially without... Did they have a flag with them? The MSG in first VA? I don't see one. I would not stay in this position. It is very vulnerable to a guy like Parker. Yeah, here he fucking comes. Here he comes. Yeah, you see first VA pulling back very wisely. All I'm going to say is there's a man on that rock, and I don't want to see that man on that rock, so I'm going to go. Direct straight ahead, boys, at that fucking straight line fence, straight ahead. Northwest, we're getting shot Down my line, right there, down line, down the ruts there, west, take aim, cut the grass. Take aim! Tennessee, cut the grass, west. Cut the grass, west! Uh, people coming over. Coming over. Oh, shit. Now, unfortunately, right now, it looks like at this rate, the CSA is going to hit final push before the Union will hit last stand. I am hot. And they are going to be out of position, I believe, for this final attack here. You know, you have all these targets over here, and you're going for these long shots over on this... Which is actually a much harder shot over here. Yeah, you hit the EB guys, but I mean, this is super easy. This is super easy. What are you doing? Target selection. Yeah, who fucking knows where the fuck they're at? I'm just here holding the flag. I'll be out there in just a second. To tell you what. All right, all right. I'll be out there in just a second. Jesus Christ. MWB pulling back, that's very wise. Although, to be honest with you, I, I'm actually not opposed to this line up here. If you can trip them early and get them into final push early, if the Artie is not going to hit you, fuck it. There is enemies to the east, northeast, there are some on the hill. It's target pitch, oh. boys, east to northeast. Yeah, shit. Knife, get out of that fucking spot! Now we don't have a full charge here by the CSA. You've got a lot com not committed. PB and HO are not committed to this charge. So again, this is a huge mistake in my opinion for the CSA not to go in with a full charge here. Yeah, we've got final push and we don't have everybody committed.
Now here comes HL. Let's go, boys. Uh, uh, PB is not committed to the charge. They're just doing some pop shooting. Oh, shit. Johnson, protect me. Right now, you need to push through and get him onto last stand as soon as possible. That's what you need to do right now. You're going to have time for one more respawn. Not if you're doing this. And over here, this is useless now. I'm sorry, AB. That is 100% useless right now. You need to get him down in the next couple seconds to last stand. You're not going to do that doing pop volleys from mass distance. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here comes Legion. He's moving up here against the ninth core. Trying to push him off. They're on last stand now. Hey, that's a good recap. And we still don't have all units going in. We still have all these guys down here not pushing up. What are you doing getting your loads, guys? That's idiotic. Immortality. Oh, I'm alive. And the Union is probably going to win this battle here. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad that you're a rebel. I'm really sorry. Oh, bless. And a nice hold by the Union. Uh, nice reinforcements. They reinforced when they needed to. They counterattacked when they needed to. Uh, CSA already, not sufficient. It was some good shots, but not at what they needed. I'm sorry. You, you need to do a lot better than that. And you need to do a better job on target selection. Um, not good discipline on maintaining the flags up. Not good discipline on mutual support. It's harder without Steam Chat. It very much is so. But um, you're going to operate as a single unit. you got to operate as a single unit. A lot of individual actions there that I think uh, were not in service to the ultimate objective. And the Union was able to exploit that. Um, nice counterattacks by, like, for example, Parker. Nice maneuvering there. So by Ninth Corps and several other units. Um, but um, not a good map for the CSA on this. That should have been a much easier win. Pretty high on casualties, though. Anyway, um, that is the first one. Low one out of lines. I always like to see that. We got one more to go.